Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, part of the hardcore diving Seamaster Professional Series. This watch in titanium is 45.5 millimeters in diameter and on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it's a wearable 45 and a half because of that titanium construction. Now the watch is 16.8 millimeters thick so it's a bit chunky and it's best worn if you're going to have long sleeves under them with a jacket or over them all together with use of the adjustability of the strap. Those of you who are going to be diving will simply extend the strap over your wetsuit or your dry suit and those who are like me will extend the strap over a thick winter coat or sweater because I don't love swimming. Now this timepiece does have a substantial presence on the wrist at 51.5 millimeters from lug to lug. The timepiece between its lugs 22 millimeters so it has a nice modern and broad stance thanks to that 22 millimeter spacing. The strap features a conforming profile which is to say if you look at how it interfaces with the end of the case, it matches the tumble home of the lugs, but also the arc of the case. It creates a highly integrated look, and normally this can create a lot of stiffness that fights a small wrist, but you can see that the strap exits more or less straight down out of the lugs. That's to the advantage of those of us who need to wear the watch buckled down to one of the smallest apertures in the strap. The strap's a handsome piece. You can see it's got a little bit of molded volume to help it hold up visually against the lugs and then it thins out for suplesse. There's a contrasting white stitch and you can see a little wave pattern on the underside to hold it in place against the wrist. The strap features a full deployment clasp which you can see is manufactured in titanium to match the case. It's a smart system. This buckle features a twin trigger release system so you press both triggers and I think this one right here is always a little bit easier to use when I look around the camera. You can see that the system internally has a minderless system that allows you to tuck the strap in, buckle it in place, and then once you've closed it, all the excess length is hidden underneath the strap. There's also no need for minder loops, so it winds up being very, very clean. And with the twin trigger release system, the clasp cannot accidentally pop open, thus the deployant cannot accidentally deploy. It's even nicely finished with a combination of satin and polish. Now roll into the case, you can see this is the traditional Omega Seamaster and Speedmaster shape. A thin satin finished mid case with a polished bevel that extends at the end of the lugs. Lyre style lugs that turn inward and outward. And and then you have a little bit of a sheer guard for the crown and a helium escape valve for you saturation divers. So you open this before a dive. If you are a saturation diver, you screw it out and then it will release as you ascend any helium that may have entered the case as you descended and worked. The result is it won't blow out the seals or the sapphire. That's what the helium escape valve is for. For everyone else, it's just gonna be a wonderful conversation piece. Now this is a beautifully made watch with a number of thoughtful material additions. First, let's start with the bezel. Let's hear it against the mic. It's sharp and it's vocal. It's not quite as refined as a Rolex Submariner or Sea Dweller, but it does have a more mechanical pronounced feel. The click is more insistent. You can hear it more easily and you can feel it more distinctly. The broad arrow style minute hand lines up with the luminescent pearl and that gives you a zero to 60 minute count up timer, which I find easier to read and more intuitive than a chronograph without the downstream maintenance costs of a chronograph. Now you have a ceramic insert that helps to resist scratches along with the sapphire. It's the heat shield for this grade five titanium case, protecting it from scratches. Grade 5 is about as light as aluminum and more scratch resistant than standard 316 steel, so you're really getting the best of both worlds here, plus that scratch resistance. A liquid metal, all of the calibrations, that little dashes in the numerals, are a metal deposited into the ceramic that becomes permabonded to it. They will never separate. The dial, a lush blue lacquer with applique indices and tri Arabics. You can see 12, 9, and 6 with an applique omega logo and marquee. Broad arrow style hands, vintage inspired to make it easier to read day or night. And then you have two subsidiaries setting modes. You can see how I can move that hour hand even as the watch continues to tick. Well, this allows me to travel across time zones, even jumping the international dateline forward or backwards across the days. I pull the crown out all the way. Now I have hacking or stop seconds. Screw it down. Now I have 600 meter water resistance. Turn it all over. This is caliber 8500 twin mainspring barrels. Let's get a little bit closer right here. You can see that this 39 joule movement automatic winding with a 60 hour power reserve. It features a 25 
8,200 vibration per hour beat rate, which is unique to the coaxial system. It has a free sprung balance with a full balance bridge that braces it against shock and then an SI14 anti-magnetic silicon hairspring that makes the watch resistant to magnets. You can see the tri-level coaxial system. It is a certified chronometer and with the coaxial designed by George Daniels in 1974, industrialized by Omega in 1999, after 20 years Omega has made the system accurate. Extended maintenance, warranties are five years, service intervals are even longer, and very, very precise in short and long-term periods. The watch is adjusted in five positions like a chronometer, and thanks to the coaxial, the watch has what might be described as the most sophisticated escapement that you can buy for under $50,000, an impressive feat of horology that is tank tough on the wrist, wearable almost anywhere, and thanks to the titanium on almost any sized wrist. You can see this Planet Ocean and make it yours on the watch box. Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Titanium by Night. Note the loomed seconds hand as well as the green loom on bezel pearl and minute hand for more easily reading elapsed time in the dark.